Hello. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with Sarah and Ashley. Yeah. So today we are having a Friendsgiving and we're gonna be preparing food. I asked you guys some questions on Instagram. So we put some of them in this bowl with a few random questions. We're gonna pick them out and answer them as we try to cook. I love cooking, not following recipes. All right, let's start with one. Where do you see yourself in five years? Having an apartment, married, <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> married. Hopefully in Mexico. Mexico. We're just making some sweet potato casserole and green bean casserole. Making little chunks. Throw in the mint. If you guys have a good way to cut sweet potatoes, let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna do another question. Do you have any siblings? How many? Ten. She has a lot of siblings. <laughs> I have two. <laughs> you no, know, it must be nice. <laughs> I have an older brother and a younger brother, so I am in the middle. Most people say middle child, middle child? Middle children are not the best. I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, we could do fruit ninja. Oh, funny story. <laughs> when not too long ago actually, we would find bananas like sitting where we usually keep our bananas, but they would be brown and literally cut and chopped in little slices and there'd just be slices all over them. Turns out my younger brother was just playing fruit ninja with the bananas every time we got bananas and he would just put them back after he was done. <laughs> You didn't eat them? No, he would just chop them and <laughs> that's it. This is gonna take a long time. Do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents. <gasps> I can make my eyeball shake. Wait, let's see if I can. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I think I did. I can lick my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she showed a bunch of people at work. My sweater. Just go up to a party. Hey guys, I can lick my elbow. What can you do? <laughs> guys, this Thanksgiving meal is gonna be bomb. I've only cut up half of a sweet potato. <laughs> Another question. What's an odd habit? My only habit that I know of, at least, it's a really bad habit. And I pick up my cuticles and my fingers are swollen around my nails because I always pick at them. And I won't even notice I'm doing it anymore. And then my dad or someone will be like, Sarah, stop doing that. And I'm like, I didn't even know I was doing it. I don't think I have any odd habits. I'll do another question. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? 15 minutes. It depends on where I'm going. I am a quick getter readier. Get her readier? <laughs> I'm a quick getter readier. <laughs> I get ready so fast. Unless I'm going somewhere like really nice, I guess it depends. I never really go anywhere nice. Uh, when I wake up for work in the morning, I roll out of bed, brush my teeth, <clears throat> grab my bag and go. Like, I, I get dressed too. It makes sense. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I'm almost done with one sweet potato. If you could trade places with your mom or dad, who would you pick and what would you do? Who would I pick? Like, what kid? Oh no, I think who would, if you would pick mom or dad. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's my brain, you guys. Uh, I'd probably trade places with my dad and use his brain because he's smart. <laughs> and learn all my business stuff. I would pick dad too so I can drive really fast. <laughs> One sweet potato done. Ugh, it's chunky. I don't know about you guys. I I don't like the word chunk or like chunky. Oopsie. Mm. Have you ever waved at someone thinking they saw you when they really didn't? What did you do when you realized? This happens to people all the time, so I know. <laughs> it's so awkward. I hate it. I feel like it happens to me kind of often. I'll like wave to someone and if they don't see me, I'll just be like. <laughs> or I'll just kind of accept it and just move on. I just pretend to wave at someone else. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, That's true. oh, hi. You like act? Yeah, I've done that too. I've done all of the above. This is what I work out for. To cut and sweet potatoes. <laughs> and to carry groceries. One trip only. I only do one trip. 
Comment down below. Are you a one trip person or multiple? I feel like most people are one trip people. Another question. Describe the strangest dream you've had. I thought I was in The Walking Dead. But it was weird because it felt so real. But I knew it wasn't real because apparently there was like a secret tunnel from my bathroom to my room. <laughs> and we used it to escape. And then we walked out and all the zombies were surrounding our car. That's scary. It was really strange, but it, I woke up crying. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, and then my brother got eaten. <laughs> what a great ending. Okay, my dream, this is like one of the weirdest dreams I've ever had. So if you know me, I'm not much of like the violent or aggressive type, but um, I was in a building and I was shooting numbing darts at people and it actually, my dream went in slow motion too and I like dodged a numbing dart. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. And then my dream skipped to where this like hobo went outside of my house and it was really scary. He kept trying to come in. He literally came in my house and I beat him up and I pinned him down. And you wanna know what I said? I said, if you don't wanna die, get out. That is not like me to say something. <laughs> it was so like weird. Sarah. It was so scary. And then my dream flipped again and I was in my room and there was like an attic door above my bed and I heard footsteps and I got really scared thinking that the hobo was up there and these little like cartoon character rats came out of my room and one of them was like, see Johnny, it's not a cave. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so I guess the rats thought that they were in a cave. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? 11. All right, oh, it's green bean casserole is like my favorite meal for Thanksgiving ever. What's your favorite dish? I need to know. Mine's definitely, no, it's rolls. Rolls are green bean casserole. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, at Thanksgiving, you know those like little rolls you get? I'll eat like eight of them. <laughs> Mine's the deviled eggs. We finished. They go in the oven now. Woo! We're also gonna be cooking up some Brussels sprouts, but we'll leave that for a little bit. We got two more questions. Most embarrassing story. It's in elementary school. I'm ready. One day I went to go get some drink of the water. And <laughs> <laughs> the way my classroom was, it was like right here and then the water fountain was right in front of it, but like at an angle so you could still see out. So every time you would walk out, someone would see you go and they would watch you drink water. So one of my friends decided to come out behind me and I'm drinking my water and she pants to me. <laughs> and the whole classroom was looking. Oh, no. <laughs> and so yeah, they caught me on. <laughs> names all the time. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> it was really funny though. My story is kind of like that. I was at a parents' night out, and then we were all eating dinner. Like all the kids and I were in this one big room, and I guess when I changed, my underwear dropped on the floor, and literally in front of everyone, one of the teachers pulls it up. She's holding it like this. She's like, "Um, excuse me, whose underwear is this?" Literally, I had to get up, walk down the hall, not down the hall, but like down in front of all the tables, in front of everyone, take it, and be like, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. <laughs> that's probably my most embarrassing story to date. Like, I don't have anything to top that yet. Hopefully, there's no more to come. What is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, mm. Let me tell you. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people can agree with me on this one. I hate feet. Just touching feet. Unless, yeah, I, I just don't like me feet. Me too. Really? <laughs> okay, then I also have another one. This, they're they're about even. Like I can't pick between them. Wasted food. I I don't like it when people like they'll go to restaurants and then they'll order all this food and they just leave it like. There's so much food that you could have taken home. I mean, there's, I don't know. I always think about all the people who don't have food and we just waste so much of it. So like, Eat your food. if you have leftovers, please just take them home. <laughs> Save yourself some money. Like take that home and eat it in the next day and don't go buy more food. That is my, that is my little rant for the day. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be cooking some honey balsamic Brussels sprouts. We have the sweet potatoes and we have what else do we have? Oh, the green, green bean casserole. <laughs> we also have more food and we have a bunch of friends coming. So we're gonna go enjoy some friends for Friendsgiving. Yeah. I'm so excited. See you guys next time. <laughs>